looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'll be going over the brand new ap update that we did just get live in the game as of 10 30 eastern time on march 23rd guys and as you guys know this was announced sometime a few days ago earlier uh, later last week early this week however you want to call it um this was announced so it does come today guys a lot of people were excited because again this does change the meta this just this changes a lot of things right because whenever there's been an ap update whenever there's been any kind of gameplay update like this the meta changes right it usually takes like a few weeks like a few days to a weeks right where people are kind of like practicing around finding things and then before you know it you're getting online and everyone has some weird new ability that everyone's using right and you're like okay so that, that that's what we're doing right so that's kind of been the thing that happens so you you hop into the game you see this ability you're like why are they using that then you hop into another game they're using it too before you know it's on youtube and it's the new meta, right? Why? Because by putting the AP up on this ability, it made people decide to go to some ability that was lowered. And it turns out having three of the lower abilities makes more sense than having two of the higher, right? And that's kind of how it's worked. You know, we had, we had the bench press meta. We have one step ahead meta and so on and so forth. But before we get into the video and go through everything, head on down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, let me know down below. What was your favorite ability and meta this entire year? Matt, was it the bench press meta? A lot of people like that one. And as well, guys, uh, like I said, yeah, let me know down below your favorite ability or meta that was throughout the year. And if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle. But yeah, let's get into the uh, the article, going over the AP updates, and then we'll talk a little about how the meta may change. So as you guys can see here on the ability point update for March 23rd, AP limit update. So it was increased from 12 to 15. So you actually can have more AP on your team now, which is pretty cool. Um, but of course, you know, it does impact, you know, because things have went up. Now, QB Playmaker is now 10 AP for Improviser Archetype. Playmaker is now 6 across the board for all the positions. Route Tech is plus 1 to all archetypes. So by Route Tech going up, guys, that may decrease people using Route Tech in certain instances because you may not have that extra 1 AP to go, right? So Route Tech being changed. Again, that's, that's a pretty good ability as well. Now, defense, uh, defense AP update. One step ahead is now 6 across the board, which means you can no longer rock with every single cornerback having, uh, you know, one step ahead. Now you can only have maybe two guys with it max. So that changes a lot of stuff, guys, because remember, people loved One Step Ahead. That was the meta. That was the man One Step Ahead meta. So with that being gone, guys, that's going to change the meta. So you won't be getting maybe One Step Ahead pressed all game anymore. Maybe there's going to be some new meta. Maybe Zone comes back, right? I doubt it, though. Zone, Zone's been dead most of the year. Uh, Deep Route KO was increased by 1+, plus, so that does change that as well. Medium Route KO was changed 1+, plus as well. See, this doesn't make sense, right? In my opinion, Madden shouldn't go ahead and increase the limit from 12 to 15 on AP, but then also increase plus one on a bunch of the good ones, right? With that pretty much, it's like inflation, right? So now you're making, you know, more minimum wage money or more, you know, more money per hour, but then like, you know, things went up. Not to say that's not a good thing, but it's like, why not just keep the prices of the archetypes and the abilities still cheap so that when you get to 12 to 15, you can actually afford more abilities on your team. I think that makes the most sense, uh, you know, from a fun perspective, but I guess it depends. Next, we got Lurker, minus one. Lurker on, uh, well, out middle linebackers and outside linebackers. Lurker on free safety and strong safeties went up plus one because, of course, Lurk on linebackers doesn't work the same way it does on safeties. Inside stuff went down by one. No outsiders went down by one. You, if you want to see the positions, you can see them on the screen, by the way. Uh, goal line stuff went down by one. Edge threat elite went down by one. And Forcer went down by one for a few different archetypes. Now, here's the thing. Here's my personal opinion. The biggest thing here for most people is going to be the one step ahead. Like I said, that was the meta. When the meta is adjusted, guys, that's going to lead to a lot of things changing. So remember, people run three corners across the board, one step ahead, one step ahead, one step ahead. Now one corner won't have it. So what does a good you know, Madden meta player do? They attack the hell out of that corner with their 99 speed receivers, with their route tech and all their abilities because they know that all that stuff can't be countered so they're going to get it on that one cornerback so now maybe you're just going to kill dog games you got to change up your ability scheme you got to change up some stuff right that's obviously going to be the biggest one of course uh one step ahead now some people were talking about over on twitter that maybe the return of bench press is coming because people stopped using bench press because one step ahead was so op but now if one step ahead can't be used to its fullest extent maybe it's time to go back to bench press right because bench press is you know of course the uh the old meta which from an AP standpoint, may make more sense, right? It really just depends on how you look at it and quite honestly, how people go about doing the math, right? Because remember, if you can afford, you know, three bench presses on your team and a third and a fourth ability, it's worth it, right? But one step ahead, you can only get two, then you're sure you only have three AP left. So what do you do from there, right? Well, what do you do? Do you just get, you give that third guy bench press? It really just doesn't, you know, it has to equate. 
it's it's all math equations right which is cool yeah you have to find the best way to balance it out but the issue is you guys this is the meta community the meta community the meta community knows better so EA probably thought this year but you know doing the ap would make people all play kind of differently and yeah at first it started that way and then everyone just created a you know algebraic equations for how they could get three best or four best abilities all in the same squad at one time and that's just how that works right that's how it's always going to work there's always gonna be people who are out there and hunt of the greatest combination which is you know fair fair of course you know that that is there for you to be able to do that but yeah that that being changed does change a lot guys this will have went into effect as of now and even this the aa blitz uh post says right here this update notably hasn't increased to one step ahead a meta that we've seen for a while now players will not only be able to activate no more than two of them also note you'll see a change to incentivize using linebackers over safety in the sub linebacker position so and there you go so that is part of the reason too so they're trying to change the safety meta which is way too late no one's going back to them but yeah by putting lurker up on safeties and bringing it down on linebackers they assume they'll do it now what they should have done if they, they want to be smart they would have brought this down by two or three and increased safety by you know one or two right because if linebackers are crazy cheap to get lurker on you now can you know if, if lurker only costs you know two ap let's just say you're getting linebackers across the board you can have every linebacker lurkered up with bench press and the other one on your corners now it's only a minus one now could it make a difference yeah could it be that extra bench press you need yeah but you know it's it's still upsetting that they didn't make that a little bit more drastic i don't think one ap is going to change us to everyone using linebackers that don't animate right but linebackers i wish they were, they have to fix that i think that ruined a lot of madden this year i love linebackers i haven't played madden in a long time right linebackers are a staple of your team they're stopping the run they're your user linebacker like right back in the day was your user linebacker how good is your user linebacker that was the thing right so they got rid of that all safeties all meta scheme they, they like by getting rid of like making linebackers useless it got rid of a lot of like normal players right because normal players who just sit out there and come out with their regular front come out with their regular defense and just play good ball right that that's kind of gone now you got to actually know if, if you're coming out there and you're and you're playing with your regular group of players your linebackers safeties the linemen and quarterbacks you're already behind the game right so playing good ball doesn't even save you there right you have to have, if you're not coming out with like five safeties and you know four offensive uh, outside linebackers on the line you're already behind the you're behind the ball and that's what's kind of sucks for a lot of people because a lot of people don't like to play like that myself included i don't like to play like that i like coming that's why i play a lot of franchise though i like to come out with my team you know build them up position by position you know the linebackers are the hitters the safeties you know keep everything deep but i got one in the box you know there's no strategy to this i feel like this is just like uh, this i guess it's called strategy but i'm hoping next year guys they really because you know they've had a few years to do this now i hope next year they really just perfect this AP system, they perfect the points, they perfect the abilities, perfect, they gotta perfect, a, in my opinion, position changes. Position changes is huge. If you play a safety at linebacker, they should be dropping like six, seven overalls. Like that's it, like FIFA, right? FIFA has it, and you know what's, what's messed up? They own FIFA, they should know this. FIFA, you know, you put Ronaldo at, at, at a center midfielder and he's a left wing, you know what's happening? He's dropping chemistry points. He's right in that spot. People around him aren't going to make the best passes to him. Like, it's just, he's going to play out of position, right? Ronaldo plays left wing. They have a chemistry to that. You know, LeBron brings the ball up the court. Imagine if LeBron's sitting at center now, who brings the ball up, who passes where, right? That is how that should be. It shouldn't be that, you know, you could just play a strong safety at linebacker and instantly he knows his run fits, he knows his coverage. No, a safety at linebacker should back up slower. Should, uh, you know, do the third, the, the drop slower. Should, should get to the ball slower, you know, or just anything. They, you know, they're weaker. They're usually not as big as linebackers, but that's just my opinion. I hope next year, you know, after a few years under their belt of working with this kind of stuff, they really get it perfected. You know, they get the right AP amounts, the right amounts of what abilities, maybe limit how many abilities can be had on one side of the ball. I don't know, guys, but that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the, the AP update. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, go like the video. Of course, if you guys need coins, head on over to my coin bank and let me know down below what was your favorite meta this year? Was it bench press? What was it on offense? Let me know. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.